119 machine. You can see Tim earning the badger. Who needs more power on the Mini Twin? I do. We felt he let himself down. He let me down. He just let a lot of people down. We were disappointed. It was a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. I'm surprised he's been allowed back, to be honest. Hmm. Wet tire warmers. I'm here at uh, Three Sisters Race Circuit, which is in Ashton, Mayfield, uh, near Wigan. Um, one of the bigger tracks. It's very popular. It's a quite fast track. Um, yes, it, it is. It is a karting track, but it's definitely longer and we've got much longer gear in here so I'm going to be doing motor team again uh, but also you'll notice I'm not in my usual leathers I'm in my old set because I've been asked to um, be a passenger to fill in for someone on the mini sidecars which I've only I've tried a couple of times in practice I've never done races but uh, the lad that's doing it he's usually the passenger so he's riding and I'm going to be debuting as a passenger uh, so I've just been over to have a look at it and uh, been taking on sliders onto the pump so that I can uh, hang out and uh, touch that on the floor without wrecking the leathers. So I've still got a bit more taking up to do. Uh, hopefully I'll get a bit of footage with the, with the outfit later on and I'll go and have it and show you it. Um, so yeah, motor team and sidecars. I'm a bit worried that there's only one race in between each session so I'm going to have to do fit from the sidecars over here and uh, get out of these leathers, put my other leathers on, get on the bike. So I'm going to have to have a, a helper getting the bike ready. Uh, and it's going to be hard work because it's uh, really quite busy for being a passenger. Anyway, I'll uh, catch up with you later. Thanks for that. So, qualifying one, uh, and I am fairly pleased. Uh, got a where are we? Team only the Badger 1065, uh, and I'm, ju I'm just ahead at the moment of the two or Keith Harrison and Ben by four, what? A tenth, four tenths, but we've got qualifying two to go. Uh, I'll just let someone through. Um, but the uh, problem is, I was running out of revs. I'm hitting the rev limiter, so I needed to change my gear in and go longer. I've uh, gone for a gamble, I've gone from uh, 14, 53, 14 front, 50, 53 rear, and I've gone 15 on the front. So I've gone a bit longer, uh, but I can go back and go a bit shorter if I need to in the race. So I'm going to test that out. Okay, uh, we'll, I'll get back, to you after, get back to you after qualifying two. Make a shit out. Okay, update after qualifying two. Um, I <coughs> changed my gear in to make it longer because qualifying one, uh, yeah, ran out of revs. Uh, so I went too long uh, with the view that I could shorten it again for the race. So uh, I'm going to just put change it back to 15.55 for the race. And I finished up in the middle of the O'Keefe. So we should be having a bit of a ding dong in the race. So in Smart Team standard class, I'll put graphics on the screen. Uh, yeah, I'm sixth out of nine, or 106.3, so I knocked a couple of tenths off, but um, yeah, I think I could do with the gearing being a bit shorter. Um, in the sidecar, I did two, uh, two qualifying sessions with Charlie. He'd never ridden the, ridden the bike before. He's been struggling with the gears and it bogging. Uh, so uh, yeah, we actually had to push start and restart after when he stalled on the grid. Uh, first session, I uh, wasn't hanging out far enough and we couldn't get around the corner, but um, definitely uh, improved on the second one. Anyway, his rider who was concussed at the last round, uh, he's decided if he's going to have a go at race one, so I've got the reprieve for that. But then one of the other uh, other um, sidecar lads says his his uh, passenger's got a bad back, and could he, so I basically I'm going to go and have a look at his outfit now and have a go and maybe go out on his as a passenger. All right. Oh. So this is Jamie Alexander's uh, mini sidecar, which he's uh, fighting for victory to nothing in a moment. Yeah, that is how quickly the pendulum can swing. You're on the highest of highs, one point, and the lowest of lows. All good things must come to an end, and their five-win streak is going to end here for race one at Three Sisters. That's me Let's focus on a on slightly the different battle as well. The 230 of Mark thing. Parker uh, and Ems is also fighting with the 11 of Jamie Alexander and Isaac Greenstreet, of course, at the back end of the field. This is for P6 with two laps left to go, probably about one and a half for these guys as they're running.
running their way through as well. But that is some so sensational I a few racing clips as well. Very, very, very close. And I have to say, of the season so far, this has got to be the best mini F1 sidecar race of the bunch. Oh, it has really good race I mean, for us. I didn't fall whole, off on this one. This the best mini well, I didn't fall off on any of them, but I nearly did. And I say that given how good last that chicane I found really hard. To get the timing the right. Getting better and better and more entertaining is, you know, we get more race. And I actually this has been as they did an old take. We all took that outfit in front of us. It didn't quite catch on camera. See, last lap. As well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that is so they're focusing on Mick Williams has just gone past us on the blue one. Through, the yeah. You see when we come to the bottom of the hill that we've actually passed. Through. As, uh, well, coming up in just a short moment's time, actually, I can see out the commentary box window, they're not far away from lapping the green streets, and uh, actually they'll be very, very close indeed to lapping the green streets, and they will be lapping with Martin Hills in P6. Jamie Alexander starts in P7. I believe it's Phil Joyce that they've got on the sidecar. Mention that. Uh, Isaac green Street the last time I'm doing this. The moment, so obviously good to negotiate them really not fit you know. well, the Throwing the towel at the last one. And here's uh, uh, yeah, Mick Williams, passenger rejected. As Mick Happen. Williams, passenger off the side Fifth in open, team of the Badger, Ben O'Keefe, Tristan Margo, Guy Kite, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth in the standard class, carrier. This is race two. A little wheelie there from Harrison O'Keefe. Uh, in this race, um, I spend a lot of time chasing this lad Gaz, who was actually riding Ian Jackson's bike. Uh, so Ian had probably five ahead of me, but um, uh, Gaz was not quite as quick as him, so I managed to catch up and chase him. So I'll just put a few clips of um, me chasing Gaz uh, when I get close and when I do the pass. That's one of the Green brothers. Uh, they'd um, they ride this track often uh, with Preston District Motorcycle Club. Know the track well, but they hadn't come for uh, practice and qualifying, so started from the back. So we had a lot of the locals just starting from the back and coming through the field. And at the end of the video, I've got a bit of a clip of um, Morgan Fulop starting from the back and finishing at the front. Inside, Gaz there, but I don't even do it. Yep, he's blocked me on the inside into Lucy's Valley, the hairpin. Have another look over his shoulder, see if I'm still there. Oh, this is, I think, Ben O'Keefe, one of the O'Keefe's coming through. Oh, he's put himself between us. Gaz now, and then it keeps going. Yeah, just see if, see if we can get around him. And lap six. We can get power some speed and try to get him on the brakes at the bottom of the hill. He just closes the door. And I'm thinking that he's gone there. I've lost some speed. what happened but I managed to get fairly close for a pass here as well. And next lap, same place with the head and I managed to make it stick. And then there's a massive gap in front of me now, so I think Ben O'Keefe, so I've cut this video short and I just uh, roll to the credits. Only the badger there. Uh, shown just in front of Ian Jackson, but it's actually Gaz. Don't know his surname.
might be a little bit more hard for. They see the final lap flag be waved, and so now this is the final lap this. of Morgan Mini Twin Race Three. Right um, Unfortunately, I've forgotten to put the camera on this one. Up, of course, but um, white bike Cowan there. And there we go. The Morgan Fuller. The lead. It wasn't too uh, difficult in the end. One of the locals that I see regularly. Yeah, great stuff uh, there from Morgan Fuller. Can Team SFCR yeah. try and find their way back through? Yes. But of course, again, they're both in the Team lead SFC of their bike. own class. Team SFCR leading the open class. Morgan Fuller leading the standard class. It's all for personal pride and glory. This can FFCR try and find a way through on the number 24 as they head into the infield section and now into the S's. Oh, no, Looks like Morgan Fuller. Is going to hold SFC on. SFC bike run by Simon Klaus. Corners, Team SFCR can pull a miracle. Who knows what's to come? The left, then the right. All weekend long has been boiling down to this moment. The final race, race three of Moto Team for Fab Racing at Three Sisters. The checkered flag wave. Checkered flag and out. Morgan Phillip takes victory not only in the standard but in the overall he's taken the grid by storm team sfcr makes it the triple in the open class as well and oh my goodness me lap records shattered and victories won for morgan phillip he has had a sensational day here at three sisters and of course this is huge for the championship with the results, results for me we'll coming up in just a second but one two and three and I was, oh, I think just a couple of tenths between between Ben O'Keefe. I had a really good race with him. Unfortunately, it didn't show any of it on the cameras. Well, that's all.